Hello everyone, welcome into the ITLS Academy. I am Dr. Himani, Senior Research Consultant in ITLS Academy. Hopefully you all enjoying our online training program. So today we are going to discuss about medical biotechnology is advancing modern healthcare. So now first we will be go for understanding what is the biotechnology. Biotechnology contributes much towards the growing public and global health need. It has revolutionized mankind since its existence. Any technology application that use biological symptoms, living organisms or derivatives thereof to make or modify products or process for a specific use. It provides effective diagnostic prevention and treatment measures include production of novel drugs and recombinant vaccine. It gives effective drug delivery approaches, new methods for therapeutics, nutritionally enriched gen and genetically modified crops and efficient methods for environmental cleanup. Health life quality and expectancy of life have been increased worldwide through the services provided by the biotechnology. It is a toolbox filled with many different kinds of living cells and their components, molecules and the many different ways to use them. There are millions of different species of plant, animals and microorganisms in the world. So now I hope you will be understand what is the term of biotechnology. Next we are going to discuss about the history of biotechnology. Here the history of biotechnology is divided into the into the three stages first one is ancient biotechnology second one is classical biotechnology and third one is modern biotechnology now first we will be discuss about the ancient biotechnology it can be referred to all development or discoveries that took place before the 80s these were all mainly to fulfill the basic need of humans such as food cattle or Shelters. Early hunting was a common practice for food gathering and eating raw meat was ordinary. It took time to understand the importance of fire, clean water, def uh, definitely agriculture also. With agriculture came the domestication of animals and food like cheese, curd and others. Possibly cheese was the first product of biotechnology as it was prepared by adding an enzyme called Rinet to our sore milk. So now second stage of biotechnology is classical biotechnology. Classical biotechnology we can define as of now the development and discoveries in the biotechnology were at it ex uh, it exponential phases. Morgan in 1926 gave the theory of gene who showed the word that chromosomes play an essential role in inheritance by using food file. It was jo Johnson's who coined the term gene and described it was it as a carrier of heredity. Now third stage is modern biotechnology. After the second world war, some may, uh, some very crucial and important discoveries were made, which set the stage of modern biotechnology. In 1975. Kohler and Milston came up with the concept of cytoplasmic hybridization. They also pro uh, produced 
first monoclonal antibodies which revolutionized the diagnostic world. Dr. Hargovind Krona was successful in synthesized DNA in test tubes, whereas love of chemistry for K. mullins lead to the development of PCR, which added volume, uh, we can say which added value to Khurana's work by amplifying DNA 1000 times more than the actual amount. So now here we are going for classification of biotechnology. The scope of biotechnology in our world has derived a need to classify biotech based or on some common features or their final purpose. There are some of the main area of biotechnology using, using a color classification. So first one is red biotechnology. We can say um, uh, we can classify biotechnology in the four part. First one is red biotechnology. White uh, second one was the white biotechnology and third green biotechnology and fourth class classification is blue biotechnology. Now we are going to discuss about the red biotechnology. Red biotechnology or uh, we can call this biopharma bring together all those biotechnology uses connected to medicine and veterinary product. Red biotechnology include producing vaccine and antibiotics, developing new drugs, molecules, diagnostics techniques, regenerative therapeutics and the development of genetic engineering to cure disease through genetic manipulation. Now we are going to discuss about the white biotechnology. In the white biotechnology, white biotechnology we can say that uh, white biotechnology related to industrial biotechnology. White biotechnology play a special attention to designing low resources consuming process and products making them more energy efficiency and less popular uh, less polluting than traditional ones so now the turn of green biotechnology green green biotechnology is focused sorry uh, green biotechnology is focused on agriculture that's why you can understand the name is come as a green biotechnology because it uh, just uh, related to agriculture so green biotechnology approaches and applications include creating new plant variants of agriculture interest producing biofertilizers and bio pesticides. This area of biotech is based exclusively on the transgenic or we can say genetic modification. Now the term is blue biotechnology. Blue biotechnology based on explo exploitation of marine resources to create product and application of industrial interest taking into the uh, taking into account that sea present the greatest biodiversity there is a potentially a hub range of sector to benefit from the use of this kind of biotechnology now we are going to discuss about the what is medical biotechnology? Medical biotechnology is a branch of medicine that use living cells and cell material to research and then produce pharmaceutical and diagnosis product. These products help treat and prevent diseases from the Ebola vaccine to mapping human DNA to agricultural impacts 
मेडिकल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इज मेकिंग हग एडवांटेज एंड हेल्पिंग मिलियंस ऑफ पीपल सम ऑफ द मोस्ट रीसेंट यूज ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इज वर्क इन जेनेटिक टेस्टिंग ड्रग डेवलपमेंट ट्रीटमेंट एंड आर्टिफिशियल टिश्यू ग्रोथ विथ दी मेनी एडवांसमेंट्स इन मेडिकल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी देयर आर न्यू कंसर्न दैट अराइजेस now here is the four types of application of medical biotechnology which were they are like a pharmacology genetics therapy and stem cells and tissue engineering now we are going to discuss about the pharmacology pharmacology is the branch of medicine and biology concerned with the study of drug action where a drug can be broadly defined as any man made natural or endogenous molecule which exerts a biochemical and physiological effects on the cell tissue organ or organism A study of the interaction that occur between a living organism and chemicals that affect normal or abnormal biochemical function. Use of pharmacology. Uh, we can use of pharmacology in the four sections. First one is insulin production. Second one is human growth hormone. Third one is human blood clotting factor, and last one is monoclonal antibodies. so now we are going to discuss about the insulin production production of genetically engineered human insulin was one of the first breakthroughs of biotechnology in the pharmaceutical industry insulin was first produced in asia coli through recombinant dna technology in 1978 the uh the human gene for insulin is placed into bacteria are cultured and allowed to produce insulin which is called which is collected purified and sold to diabetic worldwide so now human growth hormone Production of human growth hormone was first done in 1979 using the combined DNA technology. Scientists produce human growth hormone by inserting DNA coding for human growth hormone into a plasmid that was implanted in Escherichia coli bacteria. This gene that was inserted into the plasmid was created by the reserve A reverse transcription of the mRNA found in pituitary gland to complementary DNA. Prior to this development, human growth hormone was extracted from the pituitary gland or uh, pituitary gland of cat bear as animal growth hormone have no therapeutic value in humans. Now. we are going to discuss uh, of human blood clotting factor so clotting factor isolate from blood are used to treat some hereditary bleeding disorder such as hemophilia human blood clotting factor were produced from donated blood that was in indicated indicately screen for hiv thus hiv infection posed a significant danger to patients with hemophilia who received human blood clotting factors in the biotechnology uh maybe uh, we can say like that in this biotechnological procedure the human gene that codes for the blood clotting protein in transfer to hamster cell grown in tissue culture which then produce factor 8 for use by hemophilia 
now we are going to discuss about the monoclonal antibody monoclonal antibodies are antibodies that are made by identical immune cells that are all clone of a unique parent cell remember antibodies are specific protein that target pathogens invading our body monoclonal antibodies can have mono valent affinity in that they bind to the same epitope yeah definitely we can say like that uh, the part of an antigen that is recognized by the antibody so now the advantage of uh, monoclonal antibodies this technology is used primarily to fight of cancer cell as these monoclonal antibodies can be trained to target markers that show up on cancer cell monoclonal antibodies are administered through a vein or uh, maybe we can say like that intravenously how often you undergo monoclonal antibody treatment dep depends on your cancer and the drug you are receiving some monoclonal antibodies drugs may be used in the combination with other treatments such as chemotherapy or hormone therapy the antibodies will then destroy the cancer cell and go looking for more now we are going for discuss about the gene therapy Gene therapy is an experimental technique that use gene to treat or prevent diseases. Gene therapy is the use of DNA as a pharmaceutical agent to treat disease. Although gene therapy is a promising treatment option for a number of diseases including inherited disorders some types of cancer and certain viral infection gene therapy is currently being tested only for disease that have no other cures it it derives its name from the idea that dna can be used to supplement or alter gene within a individual cells as a therapy to treat disease the common the most common form of gene therapy involved using dna that encodes a functional therapeutic gene to replace a mutant gene in the future this techniques may allow doctors to treat a disorder by inserting a gene into a patient cells instead of a using drug or surgery now we are going to discuss about the stem cells a stem cells is a cells that has the potential to become any cell type in the human body here you can see like that the stem cells provide new cells for the body as it grow and replace specialized cells that are damaged or lost here you can see like that in this there is a single cell that can be replaced in itself or it can be replaced in different type of cells it could be a neuron cells blood cells uh maybe so many type of cells uh, it could be differentiate its own the way so there is a great in trust in stem cells because they have potential in the development of therapies therapies of replacing defective or damaged cell resulting from a variety of disorders and injuries such as parkinson disease heart disease and diabetes they have two unique properties that enable them to do this first one is they can divide over and over again to produce new cells as they divide 
they can change into the other type of cells that make up the body so now types of stem cells here is a two type of stem cells first one is embryonic stem cells and second is adult stem cells the embryonic stem cells used in research today come from unused embryos these result from an in vitro fertilization procedure these embryonic stem cells are pluripotent this means that they can turn into more than one type of cell now what is the adult stem cells adult stem cells supply new cells as an organism grows and to replace cell that get damaged adult stem cells are said to be multipotent which means they can only change into some cells in the body and not any cells now we should under uh, we should discuss about the stem cells in medicine because stem cells have a very important role in the medicine industry so the only stem cells now used to treat disease are hemopoietic stem cells these are the blood cells forming adult stem cells found in bone marrow so you can understand the stem cells derive from two things first one is uh from the blood and second one from the bone marrow these cells are used in procedures such as bone marrow transplant these help people with cancer make new blood cells after their own hemopoietic stem cells have been killed by radiation therapy and chemotherapy the stem cells may help you uh um, may help your health in the future in many ways and through many new treatments researchers think that stem cells will be used to help create new tissue for example one day healthcare providers may be able to treat people with chronic heart disease they can do this by growing healthy heart muscle cells in a lab and transplanting them into a damaged heart other treatment could targeted illness such as type 1 diabetes spinal cord injury alzheimer disease and are so many types of arthritis diseases new medicines could also be tested on cells made from different type of stem cells now main thing is tissue engineering we are going to discuss about the tissue engineering tissue engineering involved from the field of biomaterial development and refer to the practice of combining combining scaffold cells and biological active molecules into functional tissue the goal of tissue engineering is to assemble functional const construct that restore maintain or improve damaged tissue or whole organ the focus of tissue engineering is in restoring maintaining and improving function of damaged tissue and organs researchers combine the principle of engineering and life sciences to find synthetic and naturally derived materials to create functional tissue in the lab and then apply them to the affected areas artificial skin and cartilage are example of engineered tissue that have been approved by the fda however currently they have limited use in human patients so here we can understand 
how we can get a engineer tissue engineer tissue is the combination of biomaterial scaffolds cells uh, in cells we can use stem cells fibroblast cells and different kind of cells we can use it and growth factor is also important for the uh, making a engineer tissue so we can say that that engineer tissue is the combination of biomaterial scaffolds cells and growth factors tissue engineering trial of the cells signals and the scaffolds which act as a template for tissue formation by allowing cells to migrate adherent and produce tissue tissue engineering field relies extreme extensively on the use of porous 3d scaffold to provide the appropriate environment for the regeneration of tissue and organs these scaffolds essentially act as a template for tissue formation and are typically seeded with cells and occasionally growth factor or subjected to biophysical stimuli in the form of bioreactor a device or system which applies different type of mechanical or chemical stimuli to cell so these cell seeded scaffolds are either cultured in vitro to synthesized tissues which can then be implanted into a injured site or are implanted directly into the injured site using the body's own system for regeneration of tissue or organs in, in is induced in vivo so now next is scope of biotechnology this is the main thing which when we are going for discussing about scope of the biotechnology biotechnology is a applied to variant field and many industries such as food pharmaceuticals medicine agriculture it has its scope in both research and engineering genetic engineering has helped in the production of therapeutic proteins as well as biological organisms biotechnology has made major advances in molecular biology and industrial biotechnology the scope of biotechnology is extended to various branches of biology some of these include tissue culture development of transgenic plants and animals development of antibiotics uh, usa itself has uh, established more than 200 companies such as biogen hybridech etc so uh, all covered by me hopefully you all enjoy uh, enjoying this lecture thank you